the coefficient of x to the power 2012 in the expansion of 1 minus x whole to the power 2008 into 1 plus x plus x square whole to the power 2007 is equal to so we know that 1 minus x power 3 is equal to 1 minus x into 1 plus x plus x square or we can write 1 minus x power 3 upon 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square so we can write here 1 minus x whole to the power 2008 into 1 minus x power 3 upon 1 minus x whole to the power 2007 which is equal to 1 minus x whole to the power 2008 upon 1 minus x whole to the power 2007 into 1 minus x power 3 whole to the power 2007 or we can write 1 minus x whole to the power 2008 minus 2007 is 1 into 1 minus x power 3 whole power 2007 so by using binomial theorem we can write 1 minus x into 2007 c naught into 1 minus 2007 c1 x to the power 3 plus 2007 c2 x to the power of 3 whole square minus and so on we can write minus 2007 c 2007 x to the power of 3 x to the power of 3 whole to the power 2007 so to get the coefficient of x power 2012 so coefficient of x to the power 2012 is equal to so 1 should be multiplied 1 must be multiplied with the term with x power 2012 or the minus x must be multiplied with the coefficient here b times of x to the power 2011 and clearly we can say that all the powers of x here multiples of 3 powers of x is either 0 or multiple of 3 so that we cannot find 2012 2012 is not a multiple of 3 or 2011 is also not a multiple of 3 2011-2012 these both are not a multiples of 3 and hence we will not find either 2000 x power 2012 or x power 2011 in this expansion and hence we can say that the coefficient of x power 2012 will be coefficient of x power 2012 in the expansion in the given expansion will be 0. Since there are no terms on this side.